In this short video, I'm going to explain how two converging lenses can be used to make a microscope. To follow this, you'll need to already be familiar with ray tracing diagrams and the concepts of real and virtual images. Before we look at the ray tracing diagram, however, let's look at a real microscope. There are two converging lenses, one at the bottom and one at the top. The one at the bottom is the objective lens. It's the one that's right next to the object that you're looking at. And you put your eye at the other lens called the eyepiece. Now let's go ahead and take a look at that ray tracing diagram. This line here represents the objective lens. It has a short focal length and the focal points are marked with these blue lines. Here is an object, say an, an amoeba or a paramecium, but whatever it is, it's rather small. And what we're going to do is we're going to trace from the tip of that object, we're going to trace the three principal rays. Here is the parallel focus ray, the central ray, and the focus parallel ray. Notice that these rays are converging, but they're just barely converging because the object was just outside the left focal point of the lens. So although the rays are converging, they're going to take their own sweet time and they're going to converge quite a ways to the right in this diagram. So we're going to pan to the right and see that image. And here it is. The green rays cross right here. They actually cross each other. And so this is a real image. And where they cross is the tip of the image. We call this the prime focus image. It's a real image, it's upside down, and it is highly magnified. Now what's going to happen here is this image created by the objective lens is going to become the object for the second lens. The second lens being the eyepiece. That second lens is represented by this vertical line here. And we're going to trace some principal rays going through the eyepiece. Here is the central ray. Here is the parallel focus ray. And I'm not bothering to draw the focus parallel ray because we'd have to uh, go off the bottom end of the diagram and it's just a little awkward. But what we are going to do is notice that those red rays are diverging because the object is just inside the focal point of the eyepiece. In other words, we're using this as a magnifying glass. The rays are diverging, although just barely. And so what we're going to do is we're going to trace those rays back with the pink lines to see where it appears those rays are coming from. So we need to zoom out to see that. And the pink lines come together at this point here, and that represents the tip of a virtual image. Remember, the rays are not actually coming from here. So it's a virtual image. The virtual image is upside down, although really it's right side up. Remember, this is a magnifying glass. Magnifying glasses make right side up images. But it's the right side up image of the prime focus image created by the objective lens, which is upside down. So the image that the user sees in the end, looking through the eyepiece, is an upside down, highly magnified, virtual image of the paramecium or amoeba or whatever it is that you're looking at. Now let's take another look at that microscope. Like many microscopes, it has three objectives on a rotating turret low magnification, medium magnification, and a high magnification objective lens. The high magnification lens has such a short focal length that as you focus it, you have to be careful not to mash it into the fragile glass slide, which could easily break. Now what I've done is I've taken out the eyepiece and put a piece of cellophane tape, translucent tape, over the top of the tube so that it acts as a projection screen. Here's a bit of grasshopper wing projected onto that screen at low magnification, medium magnification, and high magnification. When I take off the tape and put the eyepiece back in, this is the view through the eyepiece.